What prompted our search for a new site, a new location for Mars Studio, was that we were really looking for a showcase site to um, exhibit our capabilities. It's typical for a lot of uh, businesses in our industry to want to go into office spaces, cubicle spaces. As a marketing and creative agency, I felt that we could do it differently. My name is Chevy Shaffy. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer and partner at Mars Studio. It was really important for us to have a unique uh, vision for our workspace because our, our industry is saturated um, and you have to set yourself apart. So as a creative agency, uh, we want to be able to practice what we preach. Um, and instead of just telling you what you could do to benefit your organization, uh, we are actually showing you the way uh, and leading by example. We decided to build from scratch because um, that's the way we handle every project. Um, we're a custom solution, creative agency, and working from a blank palette allows you to truly um, create a specific uh, identity or creative vision that is yours and unique to you and sets you apart from your competition. So we were looking for another space, but we really wanted to stay within the town square and Rockville. So Chevy came to me and one night said, let's take a ride. We looked at uh, the space right in front of us and Chevy asked me, what do you think about this one? And I told him, are you crazy? I don't even know if you can afford that. And he said, what if we could? What if we could afford it? Would you want to go in there? And my answer was, why not? Why not dream big? So we did dream big and now we're here. My name is Sam Ruintan and I'm the creative director and founder at Marsh Studio. The idea was um, how we go about it, who to contact, and all of that was taken care of by Chevy. He planned everything down to a T uh, for us to be able to have the space that we have today. My involvement with the um studio build was really on the strategic vision side of things. Just as in any other project that you might handle, you have a lot of different people that have to come together collectively to make it, that vision come to fruition. One of my first partners in, in this endeavor was uh, Sam, my creative director, who took the vision I had in my mind and you know unfolded that narrative uh, in a visual way uh, through some draft blueprints. Um, and it's really important to have partners that see that vision and want to make that vision come to fruition. Yeah, my role pretty much was to um, act as someone that would keep the business functioning while we were transitioning into our new space. However, I had a, a very close eye of what was going on in terms of the layout and design and was um, playing a supporting role in, in terms of giving my expertise considering that I do have an architecture background and that would help a lot when we were trying to decide how to divvy up the space and how to create functionality for our staff. The key factors um, for a space to work for us was that we knew that we wanted to have a space uh, with a storefront and uh, not to be tucked away in an office space somewhere. Uh, we also were clear about having an uh, open space to foster teamwork and creativity. Well, the staff influenced the design greatly. You know, it's in designing a space, it can't just look good. It needs to be functional. Obviously, we uh, accounted for all of our directors in order for them to have um, very specific spaces uh, in the overall space and how we divided the functional spaces from recreational spaces it was very important to us and we ultimately knew that we wanted an open space so that everybody could communicate. Marketing in its purest form is communication at the end of the day. And having an environment that facilitates that communication, allows for the transparent communication, um, 
you know, Facebook wasn't the first company to create this open platform, uh, this open model where, you know, information is just seamless as it goes from one department head to another. I think the staff really, really likes the office space um, because um, we spend so much time at work during the day. And every time we get up in the morning to go to work, we want to go to a place that we like to be in. And um, I think our space achieves that. It's a place that people can come in and feel comfortable all day and uh, enjoy being in the space. Our space is not just overhead, it's actually part of our marketing and advertising budget. So there are risks, but um, any risk that you would take in creating something new or having a vision that's different from everyone else's, that's the entrepreneurial spirit and that's what sets you apart and that's that kind of spirit that you need to create something that's unique. Whenever you're embarking on something uh, that is outside of the norm, there's always a certain level of risk involved with it. However, when you're embarking on doing something that other people haven't done before, or other people shy away of doing, just because the conventional wisdom says no, um, you have to ask yourself two questions. Why? Why would it not work? And two, could I actually make it work? You know, with, like, with any project, there are obvious uh, complications or barriers or pitfalls. And, and really, you're, whether you're successful or not in any project is uh, how you choose to handle or overcome those obstacles. The joy of this project was seeing, seeing the process come to life, seeing that thought process, that vision come to life.